still finding people that either don't know that dolphins strand, they've, they've never heard of that before, and they're surprised when they see it. Um, they're surprised to hear that there's actually an organization that comes and picks them up, and they'll want to know why did it die, what, what caused it to die. And so in any given year, when you can tell the cause of death for a bottlenose dolphin in our state, anywhere between 50 to 60 percent of the mortality is, is usually attributable to a human activity. Just the sheer amount of the ways that humans are interacting in the ocean is starting to overwhelm the system in some places. A lot of people might say, well, maybe you should let nature take its course, but if our actions are causing some animals to die off, then we should do our best to, to help the ones to um, gain life. Something to pay attention to, especially if you care about the long-term health of, of people.